So the NFL trade deadline came and went, and the Baltimore Ravens did not make one single move. Uh, apparently, there was some talks. Apparently, there was some conversation, but obviously, nothing came to fruition. And for me personally, I was disappointed. I was not mad, but I was disappointed that nothing happened because I felt like the Baltimore Ravens could have gotten even stronger than they already are yesterday. But it didn't happen, so we got to move on. But Somebody who is moving on, but probably in a, in a better space than they may have been in yesterday and in even days leading up to yesterday. And probably the biggest winner uh, of the Baltimore Ravens from them not doing anything at the trade deadline, I would have to say is Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards, because when you think about it, like you, you, you hear and heard all the talk about the Baltimore Ravens possibly adding a running back uh, to this room and adding a RB1. Like a lot of people were saying, like, oh, yeah, the Baltimore Ravens need a true number one running back. To add to this team, alleviate the workload for Gus Edwards, take some off for Gus Edwards. It doesn't all just have to be on Gus Edwards. But Gus Edwards, I'm sure, as an NFL player at any position, like, yeah, other players take the workload off of you, but at the same time, you want to do everything yourself. You want everything to be on you because you want to be the guy. So with Gus Edwards, with the Baltimore Ravens not trading for a running back, not bringing anybody in at the running back position, this – Get, can give him an extra boost of confidence like oh okay it's my time now it, it's my time to shine and that three touchdown game against the Arizona Cardinals uh, I'm sure that boosted his ego as it should have uh, but now with them not trading for anything Gus is in a really good position to show everybody like hey no 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 no, I got this trust me I, I, I really do now, of course, um, I'm sure he wouldn't have been opposed to the Baltimore Ravens adding another running back, but at the same time, maybe he would have internally and personally. Gus Edwards has not been a type to make a big fuss about anything when it comes to his usage with the Baltimore Ravens, and he has had every single right to, in my opinion, to make a big deal of the way that he is used or sometimes not used because I've been saying it for a long time. I feel like Gus Edwards should be their running back one right now. Especially once that injury to J.K. Dobbins happened, they should have been like, all right, Gus, it's all you. But a lot of times they have failed to do that. They limit Gus's carries almost. And could it be strategy for the long haul? Could it be a strategy for to try to keep him and other running backs as fresh as possible down the stretch? Hey, who knows? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. No clue. But I feel like Gus could have done a lot. Like games like he had against the Cardinals on Sunday, I feel like he could have had a lot more of those if the Ravens like use him just a bit more. Now, I know he has dealt with injuries over the past couple of years, so you may want to limit his usage. And bringing in another running back, it could have helped that. It could have helped alleviate a lot of what was on Gus's plate. But I'm sure Gus, like, I don't think he'll want any alleviation off of his plate, if that's even a word. Uh, but I'm sure Gus will want his plate to be even bigger because you think about it. Like, he's an NFL player. He's an NFL player. And when you are an NFL player, you want everything that you can possibly get because you know the NFL stands for not for long. Like, think about a wide receiver, like a wide receiver on a team. Uh, if a wide receiver is on a team, um, they – like, if you add another wide receiver to the mix, they'd be like, oh, all right, cool, okay, we got another guy. All right, let, let, let's get it, baby. Would that take away from my numbers? Ah, yeah, it might a little bit, but, hey, th that'll take some attention off of me, too. But then you add another wide receiver to the team, so, like, oh, okay. Then you add another wide receiver to the team, and it's like, oh, okay, like, uh, we only got one ball to go around. Like, uh, I, I want it, but he wants it, too, and he wants it, too. And when you, if they have the mindset of team player, oh, great, but... Wide receivers, their job is to catch the ball. So if they ain't catching the ball, if they're out there running routes and stuff and they ain't catching the ball, they're going to get frustrated. I think, personally, it's the same way with running backs, too. With running, well, really, any position. Because they want their opportunity to be the guy. They want their chances. And if you add more to the mix, then that takes away from their chances to shine. So, anyway, with Gus Edwards, I, I think that he has to be really happy that the Baltimore Ravens, they did not end up making a move at the running back position uh, yesterday. Now, um, another winner from this non-trade is Justice Hill. Justice Hill, for, for reasons just like uh, Gus Edwards, too, because Justice Hill, his carries are already limited. And he may have been thinking, too, if they trade for a running back, oh, man. Like, I, I, done, I done had a couple of fumbles and whatnot. I had a little couple of mistakes. I done had some nice plays, too, and more good plays than bad for certain. Uh, but if they add another running back, what will that do for me? So, Justice Hill is definitely another winner of the Baltimore Ravens not making a move. But one more winner 
that I, I, I really feel is extremely happy about the Baltimore Ravens not doing anything yesterday it's got to be Keaton Mitchell and it, the reason it's got to be Keaton Mitchell is because think about it like Keaton Mitchell what he has what two carries I think two two carries so far and then he did he probably would have had maybe a couple of more but he had a hamstring injury two weeks ago in the game but Keaton Mitchell, undrafted rookie free agent. Like, think about this. Two, two NFL carries so far in his career. If they would have traded for a veteran running back, whether it was Derrick Henry, whether it was Josh Jacobs, Zach Moss, Saquon Barkley, whoever, you name it, it didn't happen. But if they would have traded for one of those guys, if I'm Keaton Mitchell, I'm thinking, oh, man, that's it for me. That's a wrap. I'm... I'm done because he would have been competing for carries with Gus Edwards, been here since 2018, a, a veteran running back, whether it was any of the ones we named or somebody else. And if the Ravens traded for that person, then they would certainly want to use that person that they gave up draft capital to acquire. And then Justice Hill, who is on his second contract with the Baltimore Ravens. And then he would have been next in line for a team that's passing the ball a lot more than they have in recent years, too. So he, he would have had to feel like, oh, man, uh, if they traded for somebody, I ain't going to get nothing. I'm just going to be relegated to special teams if, the, if I'm even active on game days. So I feel like Keaton Mitchell was sitting back. He was watching everything as it goes on because we know Keaton Mitchell be on Twitter. So you, I'm sitting, sure you're sitting back watching everything that goes on and like, man, okay, okay. I'm hearing all the rumors. They, they might get this guy or they talking to this guy or they talking to this team or they talking to that team. I don't know, man. But once 4 o'clock came and went, and actually when, when it got to like 4, 4, 4, 5, because sometimes some stuff trickles in last minute. But when that time came and went and the Ravens had not made a move, especially at the running back position, oh, Keith Mitchell had to take a deep sigh. Uh, he had to take a deep breath and realize, oh, yes, we got a shot. Seriously, because I really do think if Ravens would have acquired somebody, that would have been it. That would have been a wrap. That's why even going into this season for Keaton Mitchell, I was, I was shaky about him because I was like, I, we got J.K. Dobbins. We got Gus L. We got Justice Hill. And it, with him battling with Melvin Gordon, I felt like he deserved the roster spot. I felt like he should have been on a team. But I was like, I know how these Baltimore Ravens operate. They, the undrafted rookie free agent over a veteran running back. Oh, yeah. No. They going with the veteran. But they went with Keaton Mitchell. And I was like, oh, okay. But then if they would have brought somebody in, then, yeah, that, that probably would have been a wrap for him uh, in any possible time that he could get uh, carrying that football. But. For his sake, it, it worked out. So now for Keaton Mitchell, it's about, for all three of those guys, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, Keaton Mitchell, it's about making the most of those opportunities when they come. Because now it's officially like, I mean, they could sign somebody in free agency or whatnot. They could call it somebody from the practice squad. But now it's officially all on you, Gus Edwards. It's officially all on you, Justice Hill. It's officially all on you, Keaton Mitchell. Those are the Baltimore Ravens running backs for the foreseeable future. Well, for the rest of the this this season, those are the guys. So it's up to them to carry the Ravens. Uh, you see that? Get that little wordplay to carry the Ravens for the rest of the season uh, into the playoffs and hopefully into the Super Bowl, man. Because the Baltimore Ravens, despite them not having made a move yesterday, they still got a real shot at making it happen. They, they, they really, really do. They really do. So with them being the big winners uh, of the Ravens not making any moves yesterday, now it's time for them to be winners on the field moving forward. And, and now it's time to continue, especially for Gus Edwards and Justice. It's time to continue to show why, hey, no, no, no. We, we good No 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 We got this No uh, no no no, no. We, We're straight at the running back position And you should be glad That the Baltimore Ravens Didn't add anybody else